time of year for it. She has actually deep fried figs in there, wow. and 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 then you like pour buttermilk over it. I it is so <laughs> incredible. And I teach a course at Stanford on uh, continuing studies on how to write a cookbook, and I always use Judy Rogers as an exemplar of. I mean, the book is also not driven by photographs or anything because it's sort of cookbook 1.0 or maybe 2.0, um, and it's it's definitely text driven. But and she does go on fairly long. But if you want to learn how to really express recipe writing beautifully and head notes beautifully, study Judy Rogers. She oh, was and, and the methods. methods. And I just have to say, like, I work. I'm suspicious to all of my agents and all my authors who work for me. So this is who, who I worked. Excuse me. So um, this is not a surprise, but my husband, who is here in the audience, says 99.5 percent of the cooking in our household. Oh, where are you? <laughs> where are you? There you are. Okay. Hi. So uh, I don't really have to reach for cookbooks very much. For me, it's a very much a pleasurable experience. We're just me to read through. But ask your husband. Yeah. 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 Just.